So you want to be famous, rich, healthy, in a stable relationship, a popular athlete, a well-known actor or actress, or the leader in a chosen profession. The universe is filled with individuals with these abilities. The problem with some people is that they don't push themselves hard enough or long enough to discover exactly what gift they have to offer. Instead of moving forward towards their goals, they go left, right, or backwards. Every day that they procrastinate is another step in the wrong direction. The challenge is in front of you. You know it's there because it called you. It woke you from your slumber. It toyed with your senses. It filled you with euphoria and made you think big. Oprah Winfrey once said, I know for sure that what we dwell on is who we become. If you can think it, it can be your reality, but you have to imagine yourself already where you want to be, doing what you want to do, saying what you want to say, hearing what you want to hear amongst the people whom you wish to be among. One of the biggest flaws of mankind is self-doubt. We talk about things that we want, goals that we want to achieve, success that we would like to have, but cannot fathom ourselves doing it. We see others doing it. Why is that? You are never wrong because it is obvious that whether you think you can or can't, you're right. Your state of mind is the most popular factor in your success. You have to be willing to believe even when no one else will. You have to have faith that what you are doing will one day manifest itself into what you desire, even if it does not seem so at the time. Not everyone will believe in what you are doing. Many of them are the person you used to be, afraid, fearful of change, skeptical, pessimistic. They don't believe in you because they have already settled. They have all they think they can have but you know better. When you attend a dinner party with a buffet, do you settle for just the dinner roll when there is a plethora of food to eat? No. You work your way around the table and you get what you want because it is there for the taking. Like I said before, it is your state of mind that governs your success. The world does not have to change. You must be the change you want to see in the world. If you want your circumstances to change, you must change. Desire is the starting point of all success. Not a hope, not a wish, but a keen pulsating desire, which transcends everything you've ever known. If you get to the point when you want something as much as you want to breathe, no man can stop you. Nothing going on in the world can distract you. Setbacks are unheard of and success is inevitable because you have a fire of desire burning inside of you that cannot be extinguished. You have to see yourself achieving goals because vision without action is a daydream and action without vision is a nightmare. Success consists of doing common things of life uncommonly well. Think about your most famous athlete. Think about the most famous athlete you know. What was it that made them great, legendary, champions, or Hall of Famers? No matter what the sport, there is one fact that is clear. That fact is that these athletes did a lot of the little things well, and in doing so, set themselves apart from everyone else. Dennis Rodman wasn't a scoring threat, but he could defend anyone and rebound better than most. He and Charles Barkley were undersized power forwards at 6'6 or 6'7, but that never mattered. As a matter of fact, I would have to say that their state of mind was bigger than the competition they faced, and that was all that was necessary when going head to head with guys that were 6'10, 6'11, 7 foot. They simply outworked their competition doing the exact same job. If you are still at that buffet, and you are told to take what you want. Do not leave a crumb on the table. If you do, 
The opportunity to take what you want will expire and will no longer be available. Mark Twain had a quote that went like this. 20 years from now, you will be more disappointed by the things that you didn't do than by the ones that you did. So throw off your bow lines, sail away from the safe harbor, catch the trade winds in your sails, explore, dream, discover. Explore new possibilities. Dream to be more than what you are today. Discover your true calling in life. Playing it safe is the same as not trying. Anyone can live an average life, but those who desire more must understand that more has to be done. You have to discover your stuff, that which you were given to put on display in this life. If you're an author, write your book. Even if no one reads it, write it anyway, because that is what you were put here to do. I honestly believe that while some succeed because they are destined, others succeed because they are determined. Hugh Downs said that a happy person is not a person in a certain set of circumstances, but rather a person with a certain set of attitudes. Success has always started in our minds with an attitude that was confident, driven, resourceful, courageous, relentless, and positive. At some point, the fruits of your labor will come to pass. They will be expressed in some form, be it materialistic or abstract. Ralph Emerson said that what lies behind us and what lies before us are tiny matters compared to what lies within us. There is no truer statement. If you dwell on your past and present circumstances, you will never break free of them. But if you aim high, you will soar and rise above anything that attempted to ever hold you down. So always aim high and refuse to come down.